this is an it came from Jeanette's video. Yes, indeed. So one of the big world news items right now, and we're shooting this on uh, Tuesday, September the 27th, uh, Hurricane Ian is uh, presently pounding the Florida region. So high winds, it's now a Category 3. Storms winds rose to 120 miles per hour. A lot of rain and flooding. Uh, the we saw the uh, from a sports perspective, the Buccaneers at Tampa Bay had to move to Miami mm-hmm. uh, to play for their games and practice, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not really seeing any deaths, which is a good news there, but certainly people are being displaced and uh, a lot happening down there with the hurricane. So hopefully everybody stays safe and they get through the uh, this tough period down there. But I was talking kind of off camera a little bit to where you know we're seeing more and more of these tropical storms hit harder and harder and harder across the world, frankly, not just the United States. And also just the, you know, the, with the constant uh, climate changing now, you know, you could argue whatever you want to, as far as climate change, you know, we all have our own opinions and everything, but the fact remains that things are changing, whether it's natural or, you know, accelerated by, uh, emissions, you know, greenhouse emissions and all that kind of stuff. That's what I believe, but that's, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, you know, out west, we're seeing more and more heat waves, very extreme heat. We're seeing yeah. drought uh, in the western United States and also across uh, the globe. Uh, but the U.S., I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, there, some folks are having harder time just getting water in, you know, you know, Vegas area and California. I mean, they may have to do some type of um, you know, just shortages of like uh, allowances. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to say yeah. with water to keep the water supply up and that type of deal. So, anyway, just as kids thinking that there might be parts of our own country that might be someday uninhabitable, really just didn't seem like that was even something that would be real. But now, as we see this type of thing, you know, and maybe not even in our lifetime. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, certainly in our lifetime, it'll be harder and harder to live in some of the parts of the country. So, do you think hey, there's a time that there could be parts of our own country that might be, whether it be uninhabitable or at the least very uncomfortable for people to try to live there, and folks to start to have more of a mass exodus out of some of these regions and move more up north? Now, we're in Northeast Ohio, as, as as you know, if you listen to the show at all. But, you know, we don't really have this type of problem here. We're very fortunate in this part of the country to where we don't really have extreme weather. We have the different seasons. There's no shortage of water and different things around here. So we're very lucky in that respect. But, uh, you know, there could be uh, increasing populations in, in parts of the country like ours to where people are just trying to get to a more comfortable environment. So so what do you think about all this? Is it is this foreseeable that there might be a time Keith, well, people when, can't when live, you asked, but... asked this question in, in production, I was like, wow, that is that is really interesting question. <laughs> I had never thought about it before. Um, the first thing I just want to say, and, and I just have to mention this, what hit me uh, when you read the story in the beginning was, from a sports perspective, the Buccaneers, mm-hmm. it's just mind-blowing to see the dichotomy of what a sports team, a million dollar sports team can do, or billion dollar sports team can do, if hmm. you will, versus an average person. Good point. Well, we'll just move away. We'll just fly away, move away. Yep. Um, I don't know if they realize how blessed they are to be part of something like that where you could just up yep. and go. Just, money to be made if you play yeah, the game. Money, yep. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. anyway, okay. So, on with your question. You know, I, I don't think so. Um, I know we have some extreme things going on in parts of the world. I don't ever want to take where we live for granted. I don't ever want to think that that's where it is everywhere. We are very blessed. We had this conversation weeks ago um, mm-hmm. on the show about, hey, you know what? At this stage in the game, I'm not moving anywhere. I'm, I'm happy right here. I'll visit. Right. I'll go stay somewhere. But I'm going to live right here, northeast Ohio, Akron to be more specific, because mm-hmm. we – don't have to deal with a lot of that stuff. But I, I think when you talk about uninhabitable, I think of planets. We've got planets that are uninhabitable because of extreme conditions. And sure. some of those we are, you know, tinkering with. So I think 
we might have a situation where on a domestic level, you might have some issues, but I think man will always find a way to, I mean, the narrative might change how you live there. You know, yeah, okay. Yeah. Completely. You know, this, if you're going to live there, this is how you have to live, you know, yeah, okay. in certain, okay. certain environments and something like that. But I don't think it'll ever be like, just can't live here at all. The only thing that scares me when I think of something about like that is biological terrorism. You know, that's yeah. what scares me the most. You know, we had the whole COVID thing and it felt like the whole world shut down. You know, yeah. I, that, that was a feeling I don't think anybody ever wants to feel again. So no, I think we'll always be able to, to find a way to, to make it happen. Um, th there might have to be an evacuation of a place for, for a while, but I think mm. we'll always be able to, to live somewhere. Okay, so you think that at the very least, there could be parts of the country to where, like you say, to, to you have to adapt to that region or whatever the heck it is, whether sure. it be I mean, you have you to plan the, for more disaster or whatever. Yeah, look at the, the – uh, I don't want to say eco-terrorists. Uh, I can't think of what I'm thinking of. But the people who go underground and live, you know, they, they build these uh, uh, environments to live underground for a while. Uh, mm -hmm. Underwater, we have environments where people are living and habitating and doing different things or working or whatever. You know, caves, all these different things are going on. So I think that would happen up here, too. I don't know a place where that is so bad that there's just no way to even operate in. You know, even if it's heat, water, or whatever, hurricanes would be a different story. Yeah, right. Yeah, there may need to be some other technology for water whether it be water recycling mm -hmm. or to be able to you know push water out you know somehow farther distances or however they're going to do that and you're right just have the more of the planning of disasters that type of thing with whether it be you know whatever you know reinforcing walls on the coastlines right. or yeah, right. you know, they had to do in new Something orleans like and different places yeah. yeah so that to rethink a lot of things so yeah very interesting but i i do see that at the very least to where yeah it's, i do too and i'm I mean, gonna I live on the we're yeah. both wrong but, yeah uh, but certainly wow yeah very That's interesting a really good question man very very interesting question something to ponder but uh certainly all of our prayers are down with with the people uh in florida who Absolutely. are in the path of this hurricane and uh we hope we don't hear about any casualties. Uh, from yeah, the save Tom Brady. Lost the don't, don't let no, don't let anything happen to Tom Brady for crying out loud. <laughs> he must be protected at all costs. Let's take government funds and get Tom Brady out, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> God, that surprised me a little. What surprised me a lick, you know? Yeah. 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 Hey, Tom Brady, he bought us a Super Bowl. So. Does it, where, the first, my first question is, where is Tom Brady? Mm-hmm. Did we get him out of there? Get the get uh, get that private jet down. And get him Second out of there. Second question: Did we get the governor out? <laughs> You're right, exactly. <laughs> we got we got a presidential race coming up here. We got I got to get the hell out of here. I yeah, mean, you guys, I mean, you, know, you just uh, I'll, I'll I'll check in. Hold on a minute. We, <laughs> we I'll check in move, down there. We got to move the Buccaneers first. We'll get back here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they got the governor's mansion. Oh, Man. brother. Yeah. A lot of truth to that, though, brother. I tell you. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. We don't like messing with our people that make us feel good. So, anyway. yes. Hey, this is Skinner from it came from Gen X. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and like, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>